uh, what we're about to do is astonishing. Um, I've worked in jewellery most of my life. Um, I was lucky enough to live in Australia for a couple of years when I was younger, and I worked at, uh, at Cooper Pedy, um, a prolific mining town, and I was lucky enough to spend a few weeks working at Lightning Ridge in Australia, the place where they produce black opals. And the black opal is not only one of the rarest opals, it's one of the rarest, in fact, it's the rarest opal. It's one of the rarest gemstones in the world. I love opals. It is absolutely my favourite gemstone, truly by a mile. William Shakespeare once described this stone as being a miracle, and it really is a miracle. It's something absolutely unique. It's a stone with true personality. In ancient Rome, they believed that the entire universe came from within an opal, that an opal gave birth to the planet, to the skies, to the moon, to the stars, to the fields, to the rivers, to the lakes. What makes an opal so special? Well, this is rarity. Opals, 97% of them, come from Australia. And very few of them come from Lightning Ridge. Now, what is an opal? Well, an opal is millions of years old, and it's solidified silica. And over a period of time, given enough pressure, it becomes compacted. If you were to cut an opal open, if you've ever wondered how you get these incredible, vibrant, beautiful, lucid colours within an opal, an opal is actually a series of spheres, almost like a honeycomb, almost like an aero bar, if you can imagine that. And it's actually the little voids in between the spheres that create the colour. And the colour is key in an opal. Valuing this gemstone is unlike valuing any other gemstone in the world. One thing that doesn't matter is size. What does matter is colour. Colour is key within an opal. In fact, there is a hierarchy of colours. The colour that you ultimately want to see, the rarest colour in an opal, is red. After that, we want to see greens and blues. If you've got all three of those colours together, wow, you've got something impressive. The other thing that we want to see is what's called a play of colour. That means as much of the surface of the stone covered in colour as possible. What you don't want to find is what's called ghost spots. That means areas of the stone that doesn't have any colour at all. Now, if you sit at home like me, you're probably going, well, most opals that I've seen are just opaque with a tiny little bit of colour. It's very, very, very rare indeed. You will find an opal with the entirety of the stone that's covered in colour. The last thing that you want to look for in an opal is the design. The design is pretty important as well. The most sought after design is what's known as a harlequin design. If you imagine a patchwork quilt, after that, we want to see what's called a pin tuck design. That means little dots of colour going all the way through the stone. Now, all opals are valuable. Australian white opals sell for an absolute premium. Um, most of the opal mines in Australia have either um, massively reduced their mining facilities and their staff, or they've closed down altogether. One of the most prestigious mines, in fact, the most prestigious mine, and it's become the gemstone of Australia because of its beauty, its value, and its rarity, is the black opal, also known as the fire opal. It only comes from one place. It comes from Lightning Ridge. And this stone is incredible. What makes it so unique is the background. You see, if you put an opal on black, it creates this amazing lucidity of colour. It enhances the colour. It makes them sparkle. It, it makes them so lucid and crisp and vibrant and clear. Australian black opals, oh my goodness, are ridiculously valuable. They only discovered them in the early 1900s. They didn't mine them properly until the 1960s. The problem at Lightning Ridge is not only are the, the, the opals running out, and they absolutely are, um, predominantly all they're finding now is what's called seam opals. Uh, this is the lesser quality opals. They are seldom finding good quality Lightning Ridge opals. I'm hoping you went online and you're sitting and going, I just read that online. Um, with Lightning Ridge opals, the value is what ordinarily prohibits people from buying them. Now, I took the liberty earlier um, of printing out a list of the most valuable gemstones in the world. And some of these might shock you. Um, the single most valuable and rarest gemstone in the world is a stone called jadeite. Jadeite um, is a form of jade. It sells for around $3 million per carat. Expensive. 
Uh, the second is red diamonds. They sell for about two to two and a half million dollars per carat. Uh, Serendibite uh, sells for around two million dollars a carat. That's number three. Blue garnets. Got the garnet family has some very expensive stones. Savorite garnets are very expensive. Blue garnets, number four, they sell for one and a half million dollars a carat. Uh, Painite sells for about fifty to sixty thousand dollars per carat. Uh, Grandifidite that sells for about fifty thousand dollars per carat. Uh, at number eight, red barrel, extremely expensive red barrel. At number nine, the ninth rarest and most valuable gemstone on earth. And you're probably thinking, wow, those first eight, I haven't heard of any of those, really. I've heard of red diamonds, but other than that, I haven't really heard of any of those. The ninth rarest and most valuable stone on earth is the black opal. And that's what we have for you here tonight. They are absolutely on the decline. Um, it is a stone that is seldom found and a stone that you can pay an absolute premium for. Uh, according to places like opalauctions.com, a great source of independent information, they work closely with the mine owners at Lightning Ridge to supply the latest news, the latest information. Prices have been in increasing by around 30% per year. Uh, values for black opals run in the region of between uh, 1000 to $2,500 per carat, although the size of it, you have to bring into to, to the part the colour, the play of colour as well. You can pay $50,000 for a one carat Lightning Ridge Black Opal. $50,000 you can pay for a Lightning Ridge Black Opal. They are unbelievably valuable. They are so, so, so sought after and so, so rare. A lot of people are looking at them at the minute as an investment, and as I said, price have been increasing at a steady 20 to 30% per year, which is extraordinary. What we have for you tonight is triplets. Um, triplet opals can be way more valuable than just your normal opal. The great thing about a triplet opal is your opal is protected. And a lot of people, when they're buying black opals, because of the value of them, they will have them turned into triplet opals. What does that mean? It means the opal is encased in quartz. So you take the opal and then you put a quartz case on top of it and that protects the opal. If you're spending $50,000 on an opal, you'd want it to be protected. What we have for you tonight is amazing, lightning rich black opal triplets and they are just incredible, truly incredible. Um, things to look out for, we want loads of vibrancy and loads of color and that's exactly what you're gonna see. now. Before you see these, because if I was sitting at home and I just saw these prices, I'd be like, well, there's no way they're black opals. There's no way they're from Lightning Ridge. There's no way th that you could possibly do that. Uh, here at Bid TV, uh, we have, without a shadow of a doubt, some of the best jewellery buyers in the business. In the business. Um, they look all around the world to find clearance deals, liquidation deals. That's exactly what this is. I don't know if I'm supposed to tell you this, but that's what we're going to be doing, is a genuine clearance liquidation deal. Um, because we got these at a great deal, um, ordinarily I think any other company, if they got something at a great deal, they'd be like, oh brilliant, our profit margin has just increased exponentially. We're not like that. You see, here at Bid TV, um, you may have noticed we don't advertise. You don't see us on the telly, you don't see us in the magazines, you don't see us in the newspapers. Our reputation, 12 years, and we're the UK's leading discount channels, um, it's built on word of mouth. It's people like you getting bargains and then speaking to people. And we realise that. Um, so if we get a great deal on something, we see it as an opportunity to give you a great deal. In the whole history of this channel, and I've been here for the best part of five years, I have never, ever, ever seen anything like this. I can't believe the deal that they got. I can't believe the deal that you've got. I wished, honestly, as much as I want to present this to you tonight and bring you this, I would much rather be sitting at home. Because if I was sitting at home, I could buy them. Because let me tell you, for the prices you're going to be getting these at, I will buy five, the maximum of each. These are, it's a no-brainer. It, it absolutely is. Now. Um, Sometimes you, you can be forgiven for thinking, oh, it's too good to be true. Get these home. You have a 14-day, no quibble, money-back guarantee. Show them to your jeweler, tell him what you paid, and watch his reaction. Genuinely, watch his reaction. Lightning Ridge Black Opals are so, are so rare, most jewelers won't have seen them. Genuinely, they are in the top 10 rarest stones on the planet. You can pay up to $50,000 for one single carat. I've sold them a quarter the size of my little finger, loose, for $15,000, $20,000.
And let me tell you, there is no shortage of people looking to buy them. They are so, 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 so hugely, overwhelmingly in demand. The supply never meets the demand. They are finding them sporadically, and they are finding them less and less and less and less and less. Anything that only comes from one deposit, inevitably, much with tanzanite, with zoltanite, with pariba tourmaline, you're going to, the, the supply of it is going to dwindle, and that's exactly what's happening right now. Would you like to see my first piece? Please don't call. How many people we had trying to call, George, for goodness sake? We, uh, uh, the best part of 50 people have been picking up the phone trying to call. Now, a quick warning. Um, you're not the only person watching tonight. There are not only people who love bid TV and love buying bargains from us, there are people from the industry watching. Everybody knows about this deal, in the industry anyway, that we managed to land. And there are a lot of people going to use us tonight as a wholesaler. They're going to be buying from us, because let me tell you, our prices, we're not just talking trade prices here, we're talking something outrageous, what we're about to do. People will genuinely be using us as a wholesaler tonight, so be quick on the phones. If you want something, grab it. Don't, don't dwindle, grab it, make sure it's yours. If you want to think about it, think about it when you get it home. You can always send it back. What you won't be able to do is phone up and buy it once the piece is gone, because we've only got so many. When they've gone, they've gone. All right, 